Go Waifu TV. What's going on, y'all? In today's video, I'm actually pretty excited. We're going to be talking about Need for Speed Unbound's new Volume 3 update. And if you watch my other videos, I'm, I'm not the the biggest fans of Criterion right now. Previously on Yu-Gi-Oh! Art it took them a whole three months to give us cops, to put cops in multiplayer, something that was already in heat. They're on the good side now. They're, they're, they're leaving the Sith, and they're coming to the Jedi. You feel me? But anyways, I tweeted at them. Well, I, I, re I replied to one of the tweets, and I said, this is a make or break update. And it is. It really is. Like, and, and for some some people, this game was already dead, right? I mean, this game this game is dead. Like, let's keep it real. But I'm I'm hoping that this revives it. You feel me? I'm hoping that this update right here revives it because it's looking good, and we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna show you a little bit right here. I'm gonna let it play while I speak. If you want to see the video without my voice, you can go into the description down below. I'll leave it there. I'll leave a link down. Uh, I'll leave a link down there for it. But I mainly just want to talk about it because this is what we've been waiting for and this is what we wanted this is what we wanted with volume two i really don't understand how this took this long honestly but i'm glad it's here some of the stuff they're actually adding they're actually adding new cars right actual new cars and it's more than one it's like two <laughs> Cause I think the rest are like kits. I'm not gonna lie. It was is a bit disappointing. The DeLorean, I get it, it's a it's a lot of people's uh, favorite cars because of the Back to the Future movie. To me, it's just but to me it's just it's just not that exciting, right? Not the DeLorean. I'm honestly surprised the cars isn't the one that has me excited the most. It's really, and I know, and I know, I know, I know. Hit me in the face and call me stupid. It's the Battle Pass. I'm excited for the battle pass because there's actual shit to do. There's actual shit to do in this game because there was nothing to do. Race, the same race, the same playlist with a different car and make money and buy another car to do the same thing again. At least the battle pass will add some sort of game loop to it. Like, all right, you got to use this certain car to do this this uh, on this race to get this piece to put that piece on this car like it, it would be cool i really think the 16 player lobbies were needed i really don't know why they they thought four people was okay but at least we have 16 players now you know what i mean my main thing honestly is while watching this like i'm excited because i i still play unbound like no matter what all the videos i've made uh, talking all my shit I love Need for Speed. Like I really love Need for Speed. It's it's one it's my it's the first game I've ever picked up and played in my life on the Game Boy Color. I love Need for Speed. Seriously, it's it means something to me. It does. So when it does bad, it makes me feel bad. And when it does good, it makes me feel really good. So this excites me as a fan. You feel me? But as someone who is just who just bought Unbound and it left a bad taste in their mouth cuz it left a bad taste in my mouth. But at, like again, I'm a fan, so of course I'm gonna give them another chance and another chance and another chance because I'm hopeful. You feel me? But the people who don't care for Need for Speed, who just buy racing games because they want a new racing game, I don't know if this is gonna bring them back. Like it might bring them back for a little bit, but I don't know if it's gonna keep them. They did the heat. They did the heat thing. Like heat took too long. No, not my bad. Not heat. They did the payback thing. Payback waited too long to add free roam to uh, to the online. And I remember I had friends to play Payback with, right? But they weren't, like, fans of Need for Speed. They were, like, they just liked racing games. Like, you know, you feel me? Like, they didn't mind racing games. So when it took Payback so long to get everything together, by the time Payback got its free roam and everything all together at that point no but like nobody wanted to play it and they already moved on to other games because like i said like they were people that didn't mind car games they, they, they didn't play them like they didn't play them religiously like i do the car body kits like i'm, I'm not really excited for the car body kits it's kind of lame to me i don't understand why there's kits in the playstation store i'm guessing that that's what they're talking about with store i don't know why they're putting kits in there and not actual 
new cars but i mean it would make sense if like you could throw some of the cosmetic parts on the other cars and i'm pretty sure that's not how it's gonna be but um yeah i mean this is what i like to see criterion this is good as a fan i'm happy as a consumer i'm disappointed because it's like i get yeah i get i get i get more need for speed i'm happy i get more need for speed who who doesn't want that like what fan wouldn't want more of what they love why did we have to wait this long for the love i'm gonna go back to it for sure i'm 100 i'm going back to this game to experience this update but before i end this video i want to ask you guys this question are you excited for this update are you a fan of need for speed and are you going back to the game i, I just want to know i'm actually curious but uh, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. Help the algorithm. I appreciate y'all. And thank you, Criterion. Please keep it up. Hopefully, hopefully we get some new players to the game.